Hey, Vane, why are pirates called pirates? I'm not so sure. Why are they? Because they are. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bad jokes aside now. Welcome to my review of the Pirates Snow Fire. This set was released in May 2023, has 285 pieces and features two minifigures in total. This ship is featured in season 3 of the Mandalorian TV series, specifically in the scene where they attempt to shoot down Din Djarin. This set also features two play features which we'll talk about in a bit and retails for a nice price of £29.99. Although I have seen it as low as £25 depending on where you shop. For the box art of this set we see the ship in action flying through an asteroid field where I'm assuming it's easy pickings for a pirate. We have Mando and Grogu in the bottom left corner to denote that this set is from the Mandalorian TV series. With a look at the two minifigures in this set in the bottom right corner. Turning the box around we see the ship landed on a planet with two of the player features in this set highlighted around the ship. This includes a projectile launcher and storage for a thermal detonator in the space behind the cockpit. So opening up the box, inside we find two big bags full of parts, instructions for both of these bags and six stickers in total to complete the look of the ship. Building this awesome ship wasn't too bad, the way that it's built meant some parts weren't fitting properly in the centre for some reason, but once this was overcome it was plain sailing. Another issue I was contending with was the heat, I'm sure a lot of you know by now that the UK is experiencing a heat wave right now. This meant my camera kept overheating but I was determined to get the full build time lapse on on the camera so don't say don't try for you guys. As always now that we've completed the build we can have a look at this ship and see how it looks. I think of all the new ships we've got through these new series of Star Wars this ship is one of the better looking ones. This set looks rather close to the actual ship featured in the TV series and I love the included play features. The stud shooters are the front work flawlessly and the back storage bit behind the cockpit is easy to access with a nice little box to store your thermal detonators in. There's also a small compartment in front of the cockpit glass which can be used to store the pirate's gun or sword. Speaking of the cockpit glass, this piece fits really nicely with the build with stickers on both sides completing the look of the ship. In this set you get two minifigures, one being Vane and a snub fighter pilot. Both of these minifigures are new in this set and haven't been in a Lego set before. Taking a look at their design they both feature the same head design print with spikes showing around the face which only has one facial expression. The Vane minifigure features a top piece piece that looks a slightly different colour to his head with a scarf around it as well and features a dark brown jacket with nice detailing on the front and back with a necklace around his neck. The snub fighter pilot design features yellow arms and legs with a grey torso with some yellow in the middle of it. He also features a nicely moulded helmet with detail print all over it. And whilst you're here make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like Lego videos like this one as well as shorter builds and other Lego news. Click the bell icon so you get notified when I upload a new video. This set is definitely one for Mandalorian fans to add to their collection. The build was great and as said the ship looks authentic to its real life counterpart. The included minifigures whilst not great would complement anyone's Star Wars minifigure collection. At £29.99 I'd probably be hesitant to buy it at this price point but if you can wait I'd say wait for a sale to get the best value for your money. So what do you guys think? As always I'll be answering comments for a few hours after this video has gone live. Anyway take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.